In this video, we are talking about the combat fundamentals for Hogwarts Legacy. My goal in this video is to help you build a foundation of combat mechanics so you can be the best wizard or witch. Before we even start talking about actual fighting here, there are two things you can change in the settings that will make a huge difference in how smooth your fight feels. The first is changing your camera targeting to off. This will give you the ability to attack enemies with your movement stick, which will help you target enemies who are outside of your field of view. The second tip is to turn off camera acceleration to zero and to change camera sensitivity to two. This will make your game feel a lot smoother, giving a better chance of locating enemies. So when it comes to actual combat, the most important thing is to make sure you have three different spell types on your spell sheet. These three types are control, which is yellow, damage, which is red, and force, which is purple. By having one of these three spell types it gives you the ability to break enemy shields and if you run into an enemy and don't have these three spell types on your spell sheet it would be almost impossible to break these shields i say almost impossible because the other ways to break shields are by throwing objects around the battlefield with your rb button or to use ancient magic these can be inconsistent because sometimes there are no items to throw at opponents and ancient magic can take a while to build up before using it. So always have three spell types on at least one spell sheet. If not, and you want to run multiple of the same spells, just be aware of your surroundings for throwable objects. And if you haven't noticed, you have a blue bar above your health. This is your ancient magic meter. This will fill up with the damage you do throughout a fight, but by creating combos with your spells and basic attacks, enemies will drop little orbs that you can pick up to fill your ancient magic bar faster. Ancient magic is one of the best ways to deal large amounts of damage during a fight, so it is important to try your best at comboing these spells and also picking it up throughout a fight. To create combos, I advise you to start off with a control or force spell that can help CC your enemies throw in a few basic attacks, and then your next spell. This will help maximize your combos and damage output. During a fight, it is also crucial to pay attention to the icon above your character's head. This is a warning of incoming spells, objects, or attacks. It is also important to know that there are two different colors that this icon can give. Yellow icon means there is an incoming attack that you can block or counter. By holding the block button during this yellow icon, you will be able to cast Stupefy to whatever enemy you are currently locked onto or focused on. When you receive a red icon above your character's head, this means there is an incoming attack that you cannot block. Instead, you have to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge to make sure that you are not hit by it. Be aware that during these attacks, enemies can also dish out following unblockable attacks, for example, ogres. So be ready to dodge more than once. The last important attack to be aware of as well are the no icon attacks. So these usually happen when an enemy is casting a spell, jumps into the air, or burrows underground for a sneak attack. Best way to see these attacks coming is to keep an eye on the ground below your character. You will see a circle of dirt or magic where you are standing. Best way to avoid this attack is by dodging or running out of the way before the attack happens since there is a longer cast times for these attacks. Here are some bonus advanced tips if you made it this far, but don't forget to like the video if you learn anything new and subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy videos. Currently, we are at 493 subs, so it would be great if we could reach 500. The first advanced tip is to understand that every encounter with a new enemy will be logged into your book. These logs help show the enemy's weakness and can greatly help you in the future. Later on in the main story quest, you will be able to unlock magical plans that can help you immobilize, attack, or break enemy shields. These plants can help you in a sticky situation. Just be aware that they are limited and have to be grown or bought from a store. Talent points can greatly help spell damage, cooldown, and more, but know that you will not get these talent points until later on in the main quest and also 
you have a limited number of points. I would recommend not using all these points freely until you have an understanding of how you would like to play and what combat types you want to focus on. I know this is a lot to absorb, but these are the fundamentals for combat in Hogwarts Legacy. If you haven't started Hogwarts Legacy yet or in the early stages of the game, I recommend you checking out this video on how to best play the early game. And if you learn anything valuable or enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment down below what you learn, and subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy videos. It's your boy Leaf. Peace.